What's going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today, I want to talk to you guys about this really cool floor plan that I found. So we're going to hop on this golf cart and take a ride and see what it's all about. And just like that, we made it. So guys, right now we're gonna be talking about this Aspen Trail 25BH. Now this thing is pretty cool because it is very cost effective. You can sleep a lot of people in it and it's an Aspen Trail so you know that the quality is gonna be top notch. So first things first, let's start at the front and work our way back. We're gonna have an electronic tongue jack letting you uh, get your hitch up and down. Two 20 pound propane tanks that you know I'm gonna fill up for you before you go. Of course, we're going to have the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty because this is indeed a Dutchman product with our pass-through storage over here. We are going to have the magnets that you guys know I love so much. Man, we're going to have a big pass-through storage here and then our power stabilizer jacks that we do have four of uh, on each corner of the coach. So, moving right along. We're gonna have our nice big awning with an LED strip as well as two marine grade speakers, a, a couple of three-pronged GFCI outlets here, letting us be able to do some tailgating or watch some TV outside, a nitrogen-filled 10-ply tires. Here's another control for our electronic jacks. Like I said, mounted on all four corners, our hot water heater to winterize the unit. They're kind enough to give us a spare tire and we are pre-wired for a backup camera as well. Now guys, this little rubber guy sticking out over here is like your gutter. So whenever it's raining, all of the water that is on the roof is gonna be spouting out of that guy right there. Moving right along, gray and black tank valves right there, as well as our coax cable so we can get TV hooked up. And this is a 30 amp service unit. So we do have adapters that are gonna go from 30 to 50 or from 50 down to 30 if that's what uh, you guys need. City water connections, outlet for our ovens over here, and then our pass-through storage over on the other side, again with the magnet. Man, I love it so much. Now guys, this is not going to be too heavy of a vehicle. Our unloaded vehicle weight is only 4,700 pounds, which is really not that much in the grand scheme of things. But that's a quick little tour of the outside of this Aspen Trail. Let's hop on the inside and see what we're working with. If I can get my handy dandy keys out here. All right, let's go. So walking into here, you're gonna notice that we do have a bug door and then we're going to have our bedroom suite. Now we are going to have pocket closets on either side with our three prong outlets. Hey, what's going on everybody? And then with our pocket closets, this is a hangable, so we can hang up some clothes on there on either side. And then of course, underneath our residential style queen bed, you know that we're gonna have plenty more storage, which is always great. Moving right along, we're gonna be able to have this curtain. So if we're camping with other people, we can shut that guy down and make sure that we have privacy in the master suite here. And then moving over to our couch. Guys, this is a jackknife couch. So with just one hand, we can fold that out into another sleeping area. And then we can also turn it back into a couch. Here's our thermostat. That way we can adjust the temperature inside of the unit. We're going to have speakers mounted on the ceiling as well as LED push button lights and our fire extinguisher. Now over here, we're going to have our control panel that is going to let you know what your battery level is as well as the levels of your fresh tank, black tank, and your gray one and two tanks. We will have this button here to extend and retract the awning as well as our gas water heater and our water pump and our exterior and interior lights. And guys, this does not have any slides, so we do not need any slide buttons over here. Now, you'll notice that up top, we're gonna have plenty of storage, as well as our 
uh, radio. That way we can hook up through Bluetooth or hook up to the TV. That way we can have surround sound throughout the coach. Speaking of TV, we are mounted for a TV right there. Have our coax cables as well as our GFCI three-prong outlets. Now guys, this is going to have our small dinette. Now what we can do is we can knock the legs off of this bad boy and drop the table down right here, giving us another place to sleep somebody. And then we can take these cushions and put them right on top of the table, making sure everybody's gonna be nice and comfy. Now guys, turning around to our kitchen, this is going to be a uh, awesome countertop, which we have plenty of space given how small this camper is. Now with our three outlet stove, one of these is going to be a high output. So whenever we're in altitude changes, this one here in the front is going to have a richer air fuel mixture, making sure that you're going to be able to cook no matter what altitude that you're at. And of course, we're going to have our two regular burners as well. Now our glass top is going to fold over into our backsplash, or whenever we are not cooking and using the oven, we can put it down, giving us that much more counter space. I love that they have the gooseneck sink over here, and then we do have two more GFCI outlets, as well as some storage above and below the sink. And guys, these are steel ball bearing drawers that are full extension. That way we can reach all the way into the corner of these guys. And they are slam doors. Just like this guy over here, we can slam it in and out all day. Not gonna bug us whatsoever. And then this is a trick oven that is going to have an extra drawer instead of an actual oven because our microwave is convection. Now this is a residential style microwave. We're also going to have our fan just underneath it. And then going to our refrigerator, this is a gas and electric refrigerator, giving us plenty of room to put all of our food, no matter if we're going dry camping or if we are hooked up to electricity, we are going to be able to have cold fridge. And then up top, you're gonna to notice that we have even more storage. And then going inside of the bathroom, we do have our foot flush commode, as well as our sink, two more GFCI outlets, and our backlight on for the light here in the restroom. Now in our medicine cabinet, you'll see that handsome guy. And just behind it, we're gonna have more storage space, as well as underneath the sink, we're going to have more storage space there for toiletries or towels or things of that nature. And then with our shower, we do have a removable shower head that we can move around to however we'd like, as well as our skylight and fan. That way we can get rid of any bathroom odors that are unwanted. Shout out to Joe Madden again for our drunk octopus uh, hangers. These guys crack me up. They look like an octopus trying to fight you. And then going out of the bathroom, then we have our bunks. Now guys, on the bottom bunk here, we are going to have a window that is also a fire exit, as well as our wall-mounted light that we can turn on and off. And then underneath the bed, you guessed it, we got more storage. And then up top, uh, we do not have a window up here, but we do have two USB outlets. I hope that this is uh, bright enough to where you guys can see. Uh, but we do have that as well as our light mounted up on the top. And guys, these bunks are very heavy duty. They can support up to 300 pounds, which is absolutely awesome if you ask me. But guys, that is the Aspen Trail 25BH. I think that this is a very affordable, well-built camper that we've had a lot of success with and even more happy campers. So guys, if you could see yourself in this bad boy, let me know in the comments down below. Shoot me a message. I'm gonna have links to my phone number as well as my email, my inventory, and my business Facebook page. So if you guys can see yourself camping in this bad boy, take advantage of it and let's make your camping dreams come true. Guys, this is Hayes Carlson signing off over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. See you later.